Hey everyone, Boomslang here. Welcome to my channel. Um, today is going to be a mail day. So we'll wait for the uh, room to populate. Let people take their seats. And then we'll go from there. <clears throat> uh, let's see. All right, so um, it's mail day. Um, worked late last night into um, early morning in in the uh, garage here. Bringing down more boxes and stuff, filling it up. Uh, built two. Well, I built another little rack, shelf, whatever, to hold more boxes so I can fit another 40 in here if I need. Well, I do need to. Um, what else? Oh, I brought down uh, my wax, uh, some of my wax boxes, and uh almost all if not all of my factory sets so while we're waiting let's go ahead and give you guys a quick look over there so there's my wax on the shelf there hey vintage card steve how's it going and i got some wax on the second shelf there those are like rack packs and stuff like that cello cello boxes and then i got uh up there are the completed factory sets so, but today we're here because I got mail from eBay. And so let's dig into that and see what we got. Uh, oh, and I, uh, going through some boxes, I found my, um, my judge. So, um, this is like an old school card um, grader. And since I also um, found this Buck Martinez error card, let's uh, check it out. This is the error that I don't know if it's correct. Obviously, brewers are spelled um, correctly, and he's not left handed, he's right handed. So you, slide, you just slide it in the top. Boom, and then you use the um, the uh, bars on the side and top and bottom to check the centering on your on your card. So it's uh, if we go bottom here, top there. It's actually pretty close, top to bottom. A um, little more lower than higher, but very close. Well, so it's on the one here. And it's on the two at the bottom. So it is off a little bit top bottom. Left to right, it is sitting on the number two. Or actually, it's number seven. So that's a number seven. And here it's sitting on the six. So it is slightly off left to right, top to bottom. But again, this is another just um, tool. I had this since I was uh, very young. And um, kind of put it in a box and forgot about it. This was uh, this was stuff before there were grading services, you know. Before you paid people to do it, you could kind of check your own stuff right here and say, "Yep, yeah, it's centered, it's good, it's hard, it's hard plastic." So it's a good deal there. Hey, uh, Alex, how's it going? <clears throat> um, Brian Selna, how's it going? Yeah, yeah, that uh, that shelf's got more stuff on the bottom. I haven't put it up on the bottom. I got my gonna put my uh, cases of uh, cards on the bottom. I have more wax to put on there, and I got more cellos and jumbos to put up on there yet. I have tons more completed sets, but they're hand collated, not um, not uh, factory sets. Those are about all my factory sets. Um, even, even these little brown boxes here, like, better right, this is, this is a box I ordered when I was a kid, 
So I ordered a set. Now it may not have been 88 tops. I don't know. It definitely wasn't 88 tops. I have 88 tops in here now, but this is how they would send them to you in the factory when you order them. Um, right there. So I got it from this guy, Cot Sports, and there's my old address, um, 207 East First Street, Wingat, Pennsylvania, uh, 18091. And uh, this is the way they would send it to you. This is the way you would get them. Now there's 88 in here now, but whatever came in here before was um, probably earlier 80s, real early 80s, 81, 82, or 83. Um, another um, factory box is brown, just plain brown boxes. I mean, uh, this is another factory box. It's just a plain, plain brown wrapper. Again, I put 88 tops in here. I don't know what, I don't remember what came in here uh, originally, um, but it's got 88 tops in there now. And uh, it's kind of like your your girly magazines, you know. They just send it in a plain brown wrapper. And uh, no one knew what was in there except you. So, let's see. Now, let's get into the mail. Where's my scissors? I didn't bring my scissors. Hold on. Good thing the wife has a pair of scissors downstairs. We can dig in. Let's check the chat real quick. Hey, James, how's it going? Texas Hockey, how's it going? All right, let's see. So let's get this open up. James, yippee gip, go check him out, guys. He's got a pretty large channel. Um, I remember going over there, God, seeing him when he was a little channel, and he has just grown by leaps and bounds. All right, so let's see what's in here. This, again, these are all eBay purchases, but that's okay. Let's do Man, they really did this up. I don't just want to be cutting on it because I don't want to. I hear stuff rattling in there already. And rattling is not a good idea. So, uh, so also today, guys, um, Art contacted me. He had 18 boxes of cards. So I took them off his hands, uh, 90 bucks. That video is in the editor right now, getting edited. Be posted later. All right, here it is. So the rattling, the rattling is just styrofoam. Styrofoam rattling around. Boom. Here it is. Another complete set of cards. And um, so I kind of, I was making sure that I won this bid. And it says, thanks, Mickey and Joy. Little tag from the seller. Um, I also picked up these, he had these um, uh, 96 uh, Pinnacle Select um, for sale, so I bundled up, and there's some cards, you know, it's not a complete set, there it was sold with some cards missing, but I'm like, you know what, it's all right, it's got a Jeter probably in here, and you know, so not a complete set, but I can probably complete it very easily, and what's on the back here? Some um, acetate cards, I guess. They're like see-through. And then a block. Okay. 
So, again, not a complete set. There's the Jeter right there. So that's what I wanted. I wanted the Jeter. I can put the set together easily enough. It's not a large set. So that's that. And this, <clears throat> again, I was, I was hoping to get, I was bidding on two, two sets of 84 FLIR and um, ended up winning them both. So let's check this one out. There's the matting link right here. Let's get this off of here. Check the chat real quick because I'm very bad at the chat. Hey, Rad from Rad and Dad. Thanks for stopping by again. Guys, don't forget to link your channels, right? So um, anyone new here can go check you out. Yeah, a lot of these cards that with the with the with the bonus cards, uh, you know, or the chase card, whatever the card, they they a lot of sellers make sure they uh, protect it. Of course, he could have used painter's tape instead of scotch tape. But so, did you guys see uh, John Jabs's video tonight? He posted up. He got one of those little, you know, gum machine things that that we all probably ran into when we were younger outside this the store or like you said just inside the stores um they always had those little things you pop in a quarter you pull it out you get a couple cards inside the sleeves those sleeves are expensive i was looking into one of those and just those those cardboard sleeves were like expensive so He's got some of them. Of course, he's just going to reuse them anyway. So that's good. He's don't have that constant expense. Man, this scotch tape. Really on there. Get it off. There we go. All right. Now it's off. Let's get him out. Let's get him out. Boom. All right. I'm going to pop him out of this. Sleeve as well. And guess what we're going to do, guys? We are going to find out where I put my judge. Oh, and I found my, so I bought, I bought this, right, off of eBay or whatever. And it's just, it's a judge. It helps you judge your cards, right? It's a modern day judge. And while bringing down these boxes, going through the boxes, I found my other one that I had bought probably a year or more ago. And this came with a little bit more, I mean, really nice. These are all laminated, you know, it's not just cardboard, nice laminated, and basically tells you the same thing. Um, these are darker lines. These are lighter lines on the older one, darker here. We already we can eyeball it and can see it's off center, but that's cool anyway. We're just gonna check it. Boom. So we're looking at a two and a three plus left to right and top to bottom. We're looking at a five and a two. Like a three. So it's off center. But cards from that era are very hard to get centered anyway. You're lucky to get one. That's why it's so hard to get, you know, PSA 10s. But there you go. That's that. Now let's open up the other piece of mail. See what's in there. See what else I bought. So this one's going to be mine because I already wrapped up my boss's uh, set and it's ready to go to him for Christmas. Um, 
Let's get into this next one. Oh, there I am. Where did I put that judge? I was going to throw him in the judge, but it's all right. Come on, come on. This box, by the way, is crushed. So I hope everything's okay inside here. I think these are just a bunch of um, 83 Fleer that I bought. And the guy said it's not a complete set, but they're all in penny sleeves, supposedly so all sleeved up. So let's see. And they're pa it was packaged pretty nice, so I don't think there's going to be much damage. Yeah, so there we go. They're all sleeved up. Nicely, there they go, just falling out of the, the box. Boom. They may have been in numerical order, but not anymore. I got this pretty cheap, too. Shipping costs more than, than what the cards cost, so... And he's got a Steve Carlton on top. Lefty, soft center, but again, here's more deals. So we will let it go like that. That's that. Not a bad mail day. Um, Again, for you guys that got here got here late, let's check the chat. Yeah, watch your fingers. I know I have to watch my foot. Hey Rob G, how's it going? So for you guys that just got here a little bit late, um, I got almost all the five thousand boxes, five thousand count boxes that I wanted to get in here. Plus I moved in my wax. Some um, the factory sets are there, wax. Underneath, I have some uh, construction tools, but my cases are going to go under there. And um, yeah, let's get in there. It's starting to take, uh, starting to take shape, take form. Um, and like I said, I picked up 18 boxes. I am, guys. I am going to be um, doing probably just auctioning off some some cards here uh, in the future. Um, I sat through one of Donald Blumdahl's Saturday monthly um, auctions, and um, you know, I just I'm like, yeah, that's I I can do that, and I don't have all the newer stuff. I got a bunch of older stuff. Also, guys, don't forget um, if you guys are interested in buying this product, um, this is a sample of of, of what of what I'm selling. It's twenty five bucks that includes the the eight almost nine dollars for shipping and uh you get random a uh, bunch of wa uh, wax packs no repeat uh packs in any one box and a random um, ttm autograph if you're a ttm -er and you're looking for looking for something this one just had to have two and it's only one one per box, and I have 185 of these done up and ready to ship. So, if you guys are interested, just shoot me an email, and we can work out the particulars. I have, um, I have a PayPal account, all that good stuff. Oh, what else did I find? What else did I So, like, I don't do it. Like I told you guys before, I don't do every box on screen. So, I found the box that had some... Uh, Michael Jordan cards in. So here's um, SP1, Michael Jordan. Uh, here's a box that had a Ricky Henderson rookie card in it. And then this Jeter, no, I didn't. What are you going to? Mac and cheese. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, a nice Jeter I found. Nice. 
Um, what else? Um, Alex wasn't here when I showed this one here, but um, this is the, like the 90 Dunross had a lot of these error cards. You have to excuse the recent major league performance, and it should should say all star game performance because it's an all star card. So that's the error on that. And again, Alex wasn't here, but I came across this and these um, Buck Martinez error card. He's not a lefty. So cool. They'll go, that'll go in my, um, my error binder, which hasn't made its way down here. Um, I don't know if it will, to tell you the truth, guys. Well, yeah, it probably will. I can put it in a, a drawer or something. I've got literally, guys, um, I have uh, I have a ton of cards yet that need to need to come down here yet. Um, plus I got I got things like like this up that gotta still work out. It's all dusty and all that, but it's a, it's like a huge starting lineup thing. It's all Boston Red Sox, so I gotta figure out like how I'm gonna maybe display these things of starting lineups that I got. Um and I got one here. It's a St. Louis Cardinal one. I got these. I picked these up from Art. Art gave them to me. Um, <sighs> found some more unopened wax that um, I got a fine box to put them in. Like literally, I'm gonna make room here. I'm gotta make room. Huh? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Like, virtually, I came across this box. It's got all these in. Um, and at one point, uh, a, a year or two ago, I, I bought a whole, like, two cases of these. Two cases of this. Really cheap. Um, and I was dealing with a... Um, uh, but eBay guy who was selling me these Dunross packs super duper cheap. Um, so I was just buying them all up by the box. And then I was asking him just to put, uh, you know, like 10 of each year and, and, and a lot for me and all that stuff. So he was doing that. Um, but yeah, I know these are just 91 Flare Ultras and stuff, but. The way wax is going now, even the box of this 91 Flare Ultra is ridiculously um, priced. Why is that all out of focus? Probably because of the, the reflection. That's weird. So. Get rid of that. And... Unless that camera, why is that camera out of focus? I think I know why. Focus, focus, back in focus. Guess that's all too far away. Maybe that's what it is. So I ordered new microphone and stuff like that. I think you guys saw this yesterday. I had this out too. These are some more wax packs um, and stuff that I've got come across. Um, I found found a whole bunch of these were in another box yesterday, so I kind of jammed them in there. I even found, um, I think I found some football and basketball packs and stuff like that. Like, literally, guys, I haven't looked in these boxes in, in several years. So, thanks, Alex, for linking that. Hey, Big Dog. How's it going, guys? Check out Big Dog if you're into, like, um, toys and stuff like that, figurines and stuff like that. Big Dog uh, has a lot of that stuff that he, he buys and resells. and He does flea marketing and stuff like that. He sells at flea market. I just, Big Dog, I, I just took the, the cards I got. I believe I got these from you. Out of the cookie tin, just put them in the box. And let's see what else. Check the chat. 
one of one pulls. How's it, how's it going? Cardinals fan, nineteen ninety. Welcome, guys. Um, I don't know. I didn't really come prepared for anything else um, to show you guys. Yeah, we went through these boxes of goodies yesterday. Right, let me just go make a little room here. Ah. So I'm looking forward to uh, anticipation uh, is killing me. I want to get opened up and I want to start working full time out of here, but I, at the same time, I don't want to rush. So stand by a second. I'll be right back. I'm back. Sorry about that. All right. So this is one of the 18 boxes I got today. <sighs> Let's go through them. Um, a lot of stuff in plastic. Sometimes that's always interesting. Might find some good stuff in there. You guys know me. I go for my dessert first. I eat my dessert first. Doc Gooden, Mark Grace, these older penny sleeves, though, they, they mesh together pretty good. He won the buck 25 at one point for this Jay Bell, $1.25. Those truly are 1989 prices, 1990 prices. Let's see. I got some Sheffield rookies here. Uh, Lucky 13 Retro, Lucky 13, Fleer Ultra, Manny Ramirez. Okay. Um, Alfonso Soriano, Delano De Shield, Delano De Shield's rookie. Uh, looks like a bunch of. Don Mattingly thingies here. Nothing on the back, so I don't know what they are. I've seen them before, but I don't know what they are. Oh, here's a, uh, a newer card. Uh, Diamond Kings. Who's this? Marty Marion. Ooh, Marty Marion. I have his autograph. That is crazy. I have to find that autograph of his that I got. Marty Marion. See who's this? Oh, look, another Delano de Shields. Delano de Shields. Will Clark. Nice. Boo Powell. Delano de Shields. Rookie Threats. Delano de Shields. Marquis Grissom. And Walker. Delano de Shields. It's a rookie card. Uh, that must be the update. Yes, it is. Delano de Shields. Uh, someone like Delano. Oh, here's some more um, Diamond Kings. Brad Penny. 
Edgar Renteria, Matt Clement. Here's a JD Drew uh, Upper Deck Star Rookie card. How about a 1980 George Brett and Billy Buckner batting champions? An AL championship. Um, Royals sweep the Yankees in 1980. And that's George Brett. Check the chat real quick. Ah, uh, guess what? Hold on. Cat. Oh, okay. Check the chat real quick. All right, all right. Nothing new. Here are all these Delano De Shields rookie cards here. Or second year card. Look like rookie. Let's see. Yeah, rookie. So got a whole bunch of them here. That's the way it happens sometimes. Oh look, more Don more Don Manningly. I don't know what they are. Simulated magic motion disc. It must have been handed out as a promo gadget. Oh, great. I think we got a I think I got a few of them. Well, there might be Donnie baseball fans out there who might want one of them. Ooh, look at that. Very nice. 74 Gene Roof. That's pretty beat up, but 74, yep. Yeah. But that is nice and shiny. Carlos Delgado. Very nice. And I have my penny sleeves. Got to protect that. The shiny cards, man, they'll scratch up real easy floating around in a box. And then it's no good. That's a nice Delgado. Roof has got a crease right across there. So, um, 74 Mets. It's got a crease right here. Uh, Fernando Gonzalez traded 74 tops. Cesar Geronimo 74 tops. Jim Holt 74 and Jeff Burrows. All got some kind of little creasing or folding going on. How about some, there's a whole bunch of worn out 77 tops. Yeah, 77 tops. Some of these are really, like that's really worn out. You see the, the ink's wearing right off the face of the card. The lead spaceman. These cards have been, they've been jostled around a lot in a box because that's how that Gets, the faces get worn down. I'm not going to waste too much time on this. Because they're beat up. Larry Boa. Luis Tiant. It's a little chunk of them here, but. Actually, a big chunk. Cream pool, cat, cat, cat. I'm watching you. Hey, go get your toy. Go get it. Go, 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 go. Go. Oh, she uses that. Uh, can be a pain in the butt. All right, so we got some more. And now we're cat. You're going to be timed out. Come on. Let's go. Time out. Ready? Come on. Sucker. Sucker. There's one born every minute, right? She gone. All right. So what are these? Seventy uh, six. Yeah, seventy sevens. 
And we're back here to 79, right? How about Hideki Matsui, Top's Finest? Finest Moment. Very nice. J Hap with the Sillies. Oh, I'm off the, sorry, guys, I'm off the screen. My bad. Maybe there's that Matsui. Very nice. A hap. Dale yeah, Strawberry. That's a pretty nice looking um, 86 clear or 85 clear. 86 clear. Pretty nice. Got a little thing on the corner right there. How about this? 86 Dunruss. Strawberry. Mike Schmidt, is that 83 or 84? 84. Dawson, the San Diego chicken with trademarks all over the place. Dale Murphy, Nolan Ryan, team leaders. There's three Hall of Famers. Ryan again. So there are some nice cards. Ricky Henderson, team leader. Sheffield, Schilling. Sheffield, rookie again. Bichette. Toronto of the Shields. Now here's a newer stickers. Tattoos, right? I remember getting, like, they had these tattoos. This isn't new. This is... Something they brought back as a kid. We got these tattoos too, and you could just lick your lick your hand, and you just go and stick it on there like that, you know. And that's how you got your little tattoos. Um, Harold Baines, Cal Ripken, one very nice. And Ted Sidman. So there's three Hall of Famers on there. That's cool. That's the first one I've seen or held in my hand personally. <clears throat> of the newer ones. Strawberry again. Strawberry again. Strawberry, 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 strawberry. There's some Albert Bells. Another DeShield. This goes on that stack. A lot of those. Will Clark highlights. Brett highlight. Turbo Silver Signature. Nomar. Pokey Reese, nice foil card. Juan Gone, George Brett, Flare Stickers. Brett and Boggs, nice. Brett and Mattingly, Canseco Sticker. Canseco, right there. Nice. It's like his fourth year card. Clark, Reggie Jackson. Um, Looks really good on, on screen. Better than what it does in my hand. You can really see it on screen. Boom. Corkscrewing himself in the ground as usual. Reggie always did that. Dykstra. Dykstra. Reggie. Very nice. Tom Seaver. Rest in peace. Another Sheffield rookie. Tory Hunter. Cruck rookie. Strawberry. That's got a special stamp on it. Silver or whatever. Stadium Club, Fernando Murphy, Herbeck, Hojo, Jim Abbott, like double exposure card, pretty cool. And Conseco Mattingly sticker. Got some nice cards here. Some nice cards. At least on this sleeve, Strawberry. Number one draft pick, 1980. No more Garcia PR, really shiny. We should save that. Very nice. How about a 73 tops? Johnny Bench and Dick Allen. Got a crease though right across here, across the benches, right between his eyebrows. Oh. Don't see many of these, 75 minis. It's a little worn, but you know what? I don't have but a handful of them anyway, so got to protect it. 75 minis. Very hard set to get. 
and expensive too if you were to try it. Uh, Will Clark, Top's Finest. And it's got the cover on it still. Protect it. How about a Sheffield rookie? Bob Hamlin, J. Bell, Avery, Silver Signature, Wallach, and what is this? Mining for Gold, Kevin Brown. So he's playing like, you know, it's a different Kevin Brown. It's not the pitcher, it's a catcher, Kevin Brown. But it's an insert card, so we'll just leave it up. It's not metal or anything. It's hard some um, paper. All right, who do we have here? Chipper Jones, top prospects. Very nice. Chipper Jones, top prospects. Let's leave it up. In the bag. There we go. Who's this? Dave DeLucci. And all these are numbered 8,063 of 9,000. Pete McKinnon. It's got some kind of stain on the back. That's an old name. Johnny Baseball, Johnny Baseball. Johnny Baseball, Johnny Baseball. More Johnny Baseballs. I even actually put some in sleeves. Very nice, very nice. And here's a 88 or 89 Mattingly. Top's big, 87, so it's an 88. Mattingly, top to big. The big league or whatever. The big ones. And let's see, we've got Mattingly. Oh, go figure more. Mattingly disc adverts. Oh. Come off of him. Who's this? Kevin Stocker. Here's a shiny Todd Walker from Classic Cards. Andy Van Slyke, Dream Team. Let's leave that one up because I can't recall ever seeing any of those cards from Score. Dream Team cards. Electric Diamond. Die cut, Andy Pettit, Andy Pettit, Pacific Orlando Merced, Cecil Fielder, nicknames. Um, I don't know. I guess he was the big cat, Tiger. I don't know what his nickname was. Matt Williams and Mark McGuire checklist from Upper Deck. Very nice. <clears throat> what else we got here? We got 1976, 77, and 78 division champions, Kansas City Royals, decade dynasties. And this is Hal McRae. Okay. It's a newer, newer card. But I'll just leave it up. Because it's got a foil finish on it. We don't want to. Have everything wrecked. What is this? Some kind of sticker? 2004 Tops Bazooka Baseball Tattoo. Okay. Collect all 55. Temporary tattoo. And it gives you directions. And um, that looks like um, Brown. Kevin Brown? I don't know. Oh, nice reprint of Gil McDougal. Yankee, and it's 1952 World Series stamp at the top, gold foil on the edges, very nice. Never seen any like that either. We got Big Mac checklist times two, and an Alan Trammell 1984 tops. Got some more. There's Trammell. There's Matt Williams. Do we get a Frank Thomas in here? I wouldn't count on it. Or Sammy Sosa. Those were the cards that people were chasing in this set. 
There's a Dave Parker, did 30 cents for that back in the day. 30 cents for Coleman. Will the throw Clark? Nope, he's got this damper right on his head. Right on his head. Parker again. Whitaker. Boggs, but it's got a stain on it. Something got on it. Sheffield should be sleeved up, and it's not. Kelly, Zeal, Abbott, is that his rookie? Yep. We'll just leave it. Some people yell if I don't. Strawberry. So I ordered more 5,000 count boxes yesterday. And I might have to order... Uh, some more penny sleeves, too. Sandy Alomar, card number five in the set. Joe Carter, Ventura, 84 Dunruss, Marvin the Martian. Here's some more Donnie Baseball. Ah, this is an update. Yep. Danny Tartamol. I don't think I went through that stack, but there's not much in there. Burt Bly 11 was in that. Eddie Mills off Radar Griffin. Yeah, we're good. Good there. There's Bly 11. Times two. Whitaker times three. Trammel, 83. Trammel, 81. Jeremy Burnett's. Uh, Eric Milton. Mattingly and Henderson. Two cards on one sleeve. That's why it felt funny. No, Kevin Romine. Two cards in one sleeve. Two cards in one sleeve. You don't mind it when you go to the card show and they do that to you. Pay one price and get two cards. Doc Gooden, 60 cents. Only one card there. A dollar for Ozzy Smith. Fifty cents for the Sandberg uh, checklist. Another checklist, Sandberg. Edgar Martinez, fifty cent. A dollar for Jeff Russell. Okay. Two cards in there. Strawberry, another strawberry right there, back to back. Two bucks and a buck twenty-five. Two cards. Two cards. Check the chat real quick here. Dragon Fan Tim. 75 minis were sent only to Michigan. They don't sell a lot and sent back to tops and destroyed. Feel the nickname should be Triple Cheeseburger. Him and Prince were in um, McDonald's commercials in Michigan. That's funny. That's funny. Hey, Mike Heath, how's it going? 
All right, so what do we got here real quick? Bichette, Devon White, turned around. Will Clark, Ruben Sierra, who was a big guy, big, big wig back in the day, I guess, you know. One of the big guys, made a lot of money. Charlie Huff. Bobby Witt. Rookie card, it says, 75 cents. Or, Carter, 50 cent. And Tony Pena. All right, let's finish this little Whitaker. Bobby Cox, Hall of Fame manager. There's uh, Andrew Jones. And some beat up seventies cards. Where's my Hank Aaron? Where's my Willie Mays? This was the last year that Willie Mays had a card. A legitimate, you know, like playing days card. Seventy four. All right, what's in these next rows? We're not going to go card by card. We just beat that all up. See what we can pull out. Oh, here's a Glavin. Dunrust, 2001. Michael Piazza, Upper Deck. Jason Veritek. A whole bunch of scores. More score. Ryan Flesco, throwback 86. Kurt Schilling, Flair Ultra. Steve Finley, AJ Burnett, Raul Mondesi, Hershiser. Sandberg beat up, Dane Corner, uh, Bernie Nunez, Troy Hawkins, Will Clark, Zach Greinke, opening day card. This Carter card's all beat up. Not what happened to it. Let's see if we can get anything out of it. And no. It's pretty roached. Pretty bad. Carlos Delgado with the Mets opening day. Scott Rowland opening day with the Reds. Alfonso Soriano. Dinger. Okay. Mascot. Dan Ugla. Jacoby Ellsbury. Zach Granke. Redemption, I guess. Corey Hart. Here's a parallel. Darren Fletcher. That's all messed up. Eric Carroll's rookie. Thank you. Thank Barola, Shining Star. Tops Bazooka, Chris Sabo, 
Shining Star, Topps Bazooka, Ron Gant, Dave Gallagher. And Caminetti. Joe Girardi, Yankees manager. Dustin Pedroia. Pedroia. Oh, Miss Cut. Jason Veritek, Andy Van Slyke, Bill from Mora, Jermaine Dye, eh, my nemesis, Pedro. Junior, um, it's a diamond leader, Seattle Mariners diamond leaders. Garcia, Edgar Martinez, and Ken Griffey Jr. Team leader card, basically. Let's speed up. Bernie Williams, and let's see what else is in here, anything good, how about Sammy, nope that's Juan Gonzalez, Juan Gon, playoff absolute memorabilia 2002, Queen card fell over. A mini of Jimmy Rollins, J. Row. Larry Walker, ovation from Upper Deck. Chris Carpenter. Smile and Sparky Anderson. Guys always smiling. Nolan Ryan, okay, Cubs checklist, J. 
Joe Tory, Joe Tory, Joe Tory, more Tory, Bobby Cox, Lasorda, or La Rosa, I'm sorry, La Rosa. There's Lasorda, Tino, Bobby Cox, Bobby Cox, Bobby Cox, Ventura, and Bobby Cox. La Rosa, La Rosa, La Rosa. Reverse, 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 reverse. He TTMs. I got him one signed, like this one right here, signed by him. Bobby Cox. Whoop. Bobby Cox. 83 tops. Who's this? Mark Reynolds. Rookie card. Alan Trammell. Jack Morris. Two Hall of Famers there. And looks like we got a lot more uh, leaf. Uh, some clear Sports Illustrated. Jim Edmonds, Manny, he's pointing a finger too. I think you guys are just like, they're like pointing at each other. Uh, uh, no, I see you. No, I see you first. I see you over there. Uh, Kendall, Enos Slaughter, Hall of Famer. Hideo Nomo, Bernie Williams, and there's Ryman. A place in history, Todd Hunley and Tim Salmon. Nice salmon. La Russa again, more La Russa, La Sorda, 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 and La Sorda. Tommy, it's going to start calling Tommy. What's this? Oh, it might be more stickers. We have 87 Dunruss Canseco. What is this? It's a poster. Yep. Charles Johnson poster. 15 of 25. Fleer product. So it came random inside of packs of Fleer. Alfaro Espinosa. The bashing years, Mark McGuire. McGuire, Sierra, and Bo on a classic card. McGuire, McGuire, Carter, McGuire, Canseco. The bashing years again, and Sheffield rookie, Jason Jambi, draft card. Uh, something box. You know, it's got a little tops stamp right there. 
shoebox. There you go, shoebox something. It's a reprint of 62 tops. Um, Book of Power. Brett and Carew. Some rookie sensations. Jose Cruz Jr. Robinson Cano. Jose Cruz Jr. Mark Grace. He's on the checklist. Nolan Ryan checklist. Joe Carter. Fred McGriff. Marquise Grissom. And checklist of Nolan Ryan. And a bunch of classic Delano De Shields. Yeah. So the Delano De Shields box. Derek Jeter on the Flair Ultra, is that 96 Flair Ultra checklist? Jeter. Palmero, rated rookie, 87 Dunras, and some more. 74 tops. A whole bunch of them. They're pretty rad. Ragged out, roached out, whatever you want to call them, 74 tops. Gaylord Perry. Tommy John, Gaylord Perry, Gaylord Perry, Pirates team. How about a Larry Walker rookie card? Yep. Abdul Bell, Bernie Williams, Canseco, times six. Chuck Connors. You know who Chuck Connors is. Um, he also had. A starring role in TV Western, um, The Rifleman. That's where he ended up being. Mel Stoudemire, Warren Spawn, Don Newcomb, Bobby Richardson, Mickey Lolich, Leo DeRocher, and Frank Howard. Ooh, Yankee Classics, Bobby Richardson. Nice. Dave Justice. John Allred. Here's Brett and Carew again. Gonzalez's rookie card. A4 Dunruss. Steve Sachs. Steve Garvey. Fernando Valenzuela. Lou Whitaker. Alan Trammell. Lou Whitaker. Trammell. Whitaker. Whitaker. I was going to say Trammell, but it wasn't. Fernando Valenzuela. Trammell. Jose Canseco. Fair Record Centers. Dale Murphy. 86 Dun... No, 90, yeah, 86 Dunras. What is this? Ethic. Like Piazza. Ethic. Three of eight from Flair, uh, Sports Illustrated. So it's a legit card. Paul Canerco, Legends. Billy Williams. Edgar Martinez. Checklist. George Kell, Mo Vaughn, Andy Pettit, Matt Williams. And a bunch more. Brad Fulmer, Schmidt, and Longoria. Really weak checklist for those cards. All right. Edgardo Alfonso, Jason Bates, Brian Bowringer, Dan Bragg, Brad Klontz, Jim Doherty, Todd Hollinsworth, 
Rudy Pemberton, and Frankie Rodriguez. And that's going to do it, guys. It's going to do it for this video. It's going to do it for today's mail day. Um, my dinner's sitting, waiting, getting cold. Hobby sitting through on going to his 90 Dunruss. Running all the different variations I have. Cool. All right. So that's going to be it, guys. Uh, our... 10 minutes plus already. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the little preview, a little more peek into what's going on here. Um, more to come. Uh, but obviously we're going to save some of it for the grand opening so that you all can come back and hang out for the grand opening, which I don't know when it's going to be yet, but don't worry. You guys will find out soon enough. Um, uh, I'm trying to think of what else I need to do in here to get it all ready to go. It's never going to be 100% because I'm always going to be adding stuff as I go. So um, there's going to be little tweaks that are going to have to be done, like um, wires hanging around. Um, like I said, I ordered a new microphone set up and all that good stuff. I want to get another new – I want to get a new camera. Um, I got to get my own um, chairs. I got to get chairs down here. I don't have any chairs. And, uh, yeah. Big part's done. The heat's done. The, the walls are done. Now the racks are in. So all the big heavy stuff is done. Uh, it's now just kind of doing little tweaking and stuff. But it's coming. It's coming real soon. So um, stay tuned for that. Again, we'll keep you guys updated um, as to what's going on there. I even brought my setup from upstairs down here so the camera can hang over top but everything's out of focus so we're just a little bit out of range of everything so we'll have to get it even lower somehow i'm gonna to have to find out some way of getting the camera lower but other than that guys i want to thank you all for tuning in thanks for the thumbs up thanks for hanging out thanks for being here thanks for being members of this card community and uh, don't forget to check each other out make sure you sub each other up help them grow their channels um and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. This is Boom Sang signing out. So thanks again for your work, your help. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one, all right? All right. See you guys around the channels. Good night. I got to go eat. Getting hungry. <laughs>